Motherfucker! Well, I thought that was odd, but I didn't know where to put it. Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? Huh? what I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... I saw him carrying a check... a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then I assume he headed off to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color, so why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you... you just... Hey, Celeste, what color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was... Oh, there it is, blue? Look, yeah. That sleeve's poking out. Before we began with white the stripes. Did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then... Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Because he saw it before he I, killed I him. Just, I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that no, can't they be just it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. I mean, where they were disposed of, we don't know. know what color the tracksuit was. If he saw Cherry with it before he died, that's the only possibility. Cherry. Are you talking about your hero? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by mm. chance. I just happened to see it last night. Ah, he walked past really? Me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's Carrying testimony, in the duffel bag. Stuff the tracksuit in. Stuff the jacket into a bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like she said, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the back. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Yeah. Yeah. It would appear you've dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel. That's really you? morbid when That's you do you it in this context. Did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it. To put them on edge. That's right. However, Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about hey. him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. Because I hate him. <laughs> the way he talked, the way he was acting. There was a certain no. turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you oh. happened to refer to him as dude. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't eat. Such a tiny detail? Also, I don't know why that thing was said, because I got it wrong and it still said. Are you a witch? She's uh, a witch! I don't know. You're positively frightful! No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Duh. Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I. 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 Uh, yep. I Death didn't kill anyone! Me. Mr. Corn on the cob head killed. You've been all over me, Jihiro. judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. <laughs> he likes that, doesn't he, Monokuma? My time has nope. nearly come. That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Kifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here <laughs> calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. If you really insist, then... Um... Here it is. Hmm? What do you have there? It One happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. 
the ground, not on the ground, it must belong to... I got to here. We know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? And that little fat bastard For took it. For a fact indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. Then it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. I imagine mm -hmm. the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. But you can. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. You're right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break I actually one. don't know how it links to him. I and just, yet, yeah. This one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. Yeah. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? When you're dead, it breaks? No, because when you're the victim, it breaks. Because that's the only no. Because Leon was a killer. How precisely um, did the handbooks get broken? Hmm. How do the handbooks break? There's only one by hitting its weak point. I got it. You already told Brought us before that. that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah. You remember that? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> Maybe I let that slip. But I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. Everyone, try to smash it. The okay, I like that. supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession. Then, then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? Huh? You're asking me? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. Ah, uh, playing him again. If I tell you. And someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. The maker rule and regulation. Already. Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> oh well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you will follow their example? Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting edge e handbook is when it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown. There's the thing that links it to Mondo's. He didn't take his clothes off, I don't know. You knew it? Yeah, because I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. Yep. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you definitely bum, 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 bum. That layer of air would get blown away. Bum, That's bum, why bum, you may bum, feel bum, a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Interesting. I learned one new fact today. That is a mere <laughs> trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook <laughs> in the up. sauna... Well then, my Akuma, you caught it something gay. And then you made us kill each other too, so fuck you. Then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how did they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Quite the mystery. Well, why would it what be on purpose? What if they found out by accident? Yeah, there we go. By accident. What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness? Yeah. And it broke. They'd realize That's, it was yeah. broken, of course. And it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say mm -hmm. it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. I might know someone who did. And... Seriously? I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... Oh no, because Taka took his place, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows. He might have brought the handbook into the sauna. Really, it could have been only one person. And that person's the killer. So, is it us? No, is it Kiyotaka? No, is it 
Donko, no. Is it Sakura? No. Is it Kyoko? No. Is it Mondo? Fuck yeah, it is. Here's my answer. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Oh, both like trials have had like an easy way to prove it. Cause Leon's was the toolkit, and his is if his thing's broken. Why? Why do you keep accusing him? <laughs> Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago. Remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. No, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. But why are you burning to heroes? I'm still not sure. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. He says nothing would happen if he left it there. Surely. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but well, I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay. So here is the handbook I'm going to go with. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo... You broke your own handbook. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's go an e handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Mm -hmm. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Shit, I missed. See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Well, he'd hurt more than the fly, I think. I mean, he's a bloody gang member. Let's test Makoto. If what he says you but your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook, it then that proves that what Makoto... Well, my goddamn handbook works just... No. Then prove it, motherfucker. Mondo, the handbook you have right now, is it really yours? The fuck is that supposed oh, to be? Oh, or is it Leon's? The broken handbook that was in the main hall, isn't that one actually yours? What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! Mm -hmm. The punishment it suffered wasn't uh, barely okay. enough to destroy it. That makes a lot of so sense then. now. The broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's, which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's. Yes? But doesn't that violate the school regulation that says loaning No, because it's boring. Is well, here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student. But if they're dead, they're not a student. <laughs> it's kind of a great area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... Son of a bitch. Yeah, he didn't want him to die. What's wrong, bro? C come on, tell him he's wrong. You are wrong. You have to be wrong. And then we'll get the dance battle with him. Because Mondo's, I don't know, he just seems more mad as well. Everything you just said is wrong! You made it all up! Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time, from the beginning? I feel that like Mondo's the kind of person who won't lie. That way, everything will become clear. And we'll all see if I was right or wrong. Right, let's have a look, so... Let's try it. The killer is you. First, 
Let's take a look back to before the incident. Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. That something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. She made her way to the locker room. Specifically, the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? What? Oh. Ah, fuck. What? So that's wrong. Oh, shit. I'm not doing well on this one. Is, is I refuse to give up yet. Because she was really a key, which is why he was able to use his own e-handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. See, that's stupid, because you never, like you know... The killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the that's a bit guessing. And that's where the blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Which is why the killer okay, this one I'm not sure of. hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. See, that says roll there. Uh, it didn't tell you which way. Then removing the bloody poster and finally carrying the corpse into the girls' locker room. A girl's handbook was necessary to get into the locker room, of course. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. After all, Sayaka and Junko's handbooks have been placed in the main hall. Using one of those, a boy can uh, get into the girls' locker room without much problem. Oh no. And that's exactly how the killers did. With the carpet and the poster they brought with them, they got to work. They changed the layout of the boys' and girls' locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. Okay, so the dumbbell was no that use at all, but it should have been. been. That should have been. But no. Oh. Do you know what the annoying bit is? The annoying bit is I probably got a less score and then less coins because of it. Because I put the fucking one with the door open after the one with the in. Which I thought was her approaching it side on kind of thing. Ah, oh, fuck. That's annoying. Yakuya discovered the body and decided to intervene in the situation. Making things even more complicated. So, after stumbling on the crime scene, he went and grabbed the extension cord from the library. And then he got to work. He 
use the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. Then, using the victim's own blood, he left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to create the illusion that Genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. Okay, this one I'm not sure of. And around the same time that Byakuya was putting together this facade, the killer... Actually, yeah, I didn't put that in the first time. Bag right. and other belongings, ...arrived at the Sarn. There, they planned to destroy the last piece of evidence. Chihiro's handbook. I really hope that one's right. Yes, it is. Done it. Yes. Voldemort is Monday. To ruin the electronic gadget, somehow the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. And the reason it's getting hot in here. So took off all your clothes. And that's how it all played out. Isn't that right, Mr. Corn on the cup. Evidence of Mondo was a killer. That already revealed itself early in the trial. What I have to do is check that one item off his and everything will become clear. <laughs> 